We are going to start this afternoon with the first cabinet meeting of the Moon Jae-in administration. It happened earlier today. Prime Minister Lee Nak-yeon and the rest of the ministers agreed to give the green light to the president's extra budget proposal. It's aimed at creating tens of thousands of new jobs. Jim Young Gil starts us off. The cabinet signed off on the Moon administration's 10 billion US dollar supplementary budget proposal on Monday at their first meeting since the new president took office last month. The government hopes the extra budget will create some 70,000 new public sector jobs and nearly 40,000 jobs in the private sector. The finance ministry said the new jobs will be created through various programs backed with funds from the extra budget. The government drew up the additional budget to tackle the bleak job market for young job seekers and to stem worsening income disparities. No state bonds will be issued to cover the extra budget. Instead, an excess $7.8 billion in tax revenue will meet most of the outlay, with an additional $980 million worth of surplus carried over from the last fiscal year. The move is part of efforts to push forward with President Moon's pledge to create 810,000 public sector jobs over his five-year term. Korea's economy has been suffering from high unemployment for the past few years. The overall rate stood at 4.2 percent in April, while the youth unemployment rate soared to 11.2 percent. The extra budget proposal is just a fraction of the overall government budget of $357 billion for 2017. The proposal is said to be submitted to the National Assembly on Wednesday. Since the ruling Democratic Party of Korea does not have a majority, it will require the support of the opposition parties to pass. Jim Young-gil, News.